Mira, Alondra, lo que encontré. ¿Las fotos de las quinceañeras? Sí. My name's Alondra, I'm 15 years old, and I'm about to have my quinceañera. I'm excited to have all my family come together and just celebrate my day. I really didn't want a quinceañera because I've always been big in a sense. I've always been bigger than other kids, either if it's taller or it's in weight. But as time went on, I learned not to care what people think of me. ¿Nunca has mirado esta foto, Sama? Pues estaba de guardado. Todos estamos juntos, ¿qué sí? Sí. ¿Qué es Cindy? Sí. I will be the fifth quinceañera my parents have to throw. So I've always grown up in the spotlight of quinceañeras. They've always been around every single summer. There's always some quinceañera. Bien seria, como siempre. Mm -hmm. ¿Y papá llora que sí? Sí. My favorite tradition would have to be the father-daughter dance. That's the last dance your father and you will have before your wedding. And I just think it's beautiful and all my sisters have cried. So I'm pretty sure I will cry too. ¿Cómo te sientes que vas a tener tu quinceañera? Estresada. ¿Por? Porque es mucho trabajo, pero me siento feliz por tener una quinceañera. Todo va a salir bien. Siempre tenemos quinceañeras. Todo sí. We are a very big family. I have family coming all the way from Utah, from Florida. Approximately a party of 400, maybe 500. Since my parents and my padrinos are working so hard, I do put a lot of pressure on myself to make sure everything is down to the T. My favorite part of my quinceañera has been planning my court, my dances. The reason I decided to court up my dances myself was because I liked pieces from one, another piece from another one. So I really took the job on to make it myself and how I really wanted. But it is also the most difficult thing since we're young and they don't want to listen to me since we're the same age and we're all friends. They think they can goof off. Remember, cream, <laughs> <you> go. <laughs> hey! You don't say you don't know hey, it, but you don't want to learn it. Pay attention you don't it. know it. From my quinceañera, since we decided to do a lot of the DIYs, these are some of the vases that we'll be using for the, my dessert table. Me and my mom and my sisters will be doing most of my decorations. We've always made our decorations, so it's kind of a tradition to do it in my family now. Over here, we have some of the finished products that my sister has made. So for this one, she spray painted the lids and then she put the jewels right here. And these will be the main things on the centerpieces for the candy table. It is hard because since we're expecting so many people, we have to make so many of the same objects over and over. This is the bottle that will be on my, on my main table. At the end of my 15, this bottle will end up right here where all the other champagne bottles from the past quinceañeras have ended up. And having these here is a constant reminder that my 15 is coming and it makes it more surreal. And it just makes me really happy. It's one of the many things that we have going on that makes me more excited for my 15. When I was younger, I didn't want a quinceañera because I've always been bigger than other kids, either if it's taller or it's in weight. And I didn't want it quinceañera because I didn't want to be the center of attention. I didn't want them to see me in a dress. When I was little, I didn't really know what bullying was. The people who I was friends with actually were the bullies, so I really didn't say anything. But as I got older, you know, I knew what they were telling me. I got aggressive with them. They would tell me something, I would push them. And I knew that wasn't right, and it didn't make me feel good, but I feel like they should get the treatment that they were giving me. The people I thought were my friends would tell me that I was ugly and that I was fat. And all these mean things that you don't want to tell a little kid, I would put myself down. Instead of, you know, saying, they're not talking about me, they're my friends. I really put myself down, and that just sent me into like a really dark path. The turning point for me for saying I do want to continue out was in seventh grade. I had just moved and I looked at it as a fresh start and I started getting into makeup and just surrounding myself with the right people this time. They were the ones who pushed me on and kept telling me that I was beautiful and not to care what anybody had to say about me. And I decided, I was like, you know what? I don't care if I'm better than anybody else. I'm gonna rock that dress and I don't care what anybody has to say about it. And that's the way I feel. Every girl should have a quinceanera no matter how big you are, what size you are, it doesn't matter because you're gonna look beautiful in that dress. And if you love yourself, then that's the only thing you should ever care about. Your dress is the most important part of your quinceanera. It's the thing that's gonna set you apart from everybody else. You know, I've never been the center of attention and finally for one day I am. My mom is the only one that's seen my dress. She was there when I showed her how I wanted it to be designed. So this is my dress, it just came in. 
I'm so nervous to open it and I'm about to do this with my mom right now. For my dress, I took different pieces of dresses that I found and I asked the company if they were able to contribute all the different pieces into one dress to make my dream dress. I'm very nervous because since I've never seen it in person, I don't know what it looks like. I don't know if it's the right color, if it's gonna fit. All these things are just running through my mind right now. I'm so happy. It's the right color. It's what I designed. No way. I can't wait to try this on. I'm gonna go. Seeing myself in this dress for the first time is overwhelming. I can't believe how beautiful it came out. Before I tried on the dress, I was really nervous that I wasn't in a fit, but everything came out perfect and I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. It's just my dress is perfect. It's beautiful. It's everything I could have imagined it to be. I'm so overwhelmed right now that the only way I could possibly think to thank my mom is to give her a hug. Just being able to spend this moment with her and not anybody else not seeing the dress, only her, makes it even more special now. ¿Cómo se sintió mirándome por primera vez en el vestido? Pues ya, muy feliz porque si Dios nos da licencia, vamos a terminar contigo nuestras cinco princesas. Perfect. Seeing myself in this dress, I'm so happy with it. And I love it so much. It has so many beating. Then my my dress is just ruffles and ruffles and ruffles and it's beautiful. I'm so confident knowing I chose the right things for my dress because I know what looks right on my body. This is a feeling I want other girls to have when they have their own quinceañeras. I want them to feel the happiness I feel within me right now and I'm so happy that I chose to have one. I can't wait for my quinceañera and it's everything I could possibly want it to be. What I'm gonna do in your face is I'm gonna put like shimmery colors on your eyes so they make, they make your eyes pop, which is what I'm for my 15, but with glitter. Makeup is so important to me. So I decided today was to try out kind of the makeup look I want for my 15. I decided to do it on my niece, Ashley, who's also my mini me. My passion is makeup. And one of the reasons I love it is because, you know, I did to make myself more beautiful than what I already am. I like to put glitter on my eyelids, a bold lip. I just enjoy the finished product of it all. Let me do your eyebrows. I don't really know what I want for my quinceanera, like makeup wise, so that's why I chose to do a trial run on my mini me to see how it's gonna look. For the mini me, and it's the little version of you. For my sister, me and my sister look very alike. So for her quinceanera, I was her mini me. And now for mine, what I decided to do was have my niece because people tell us we look alike all the time. How do you feel about being a mini me? It feels great. Why? Because I get to do the same thing as you. You know, I was a mini me for Cindy's 15? Yes. You do? Don't be nervous. Just, I was nervous for Cindy's because since I was her mini me, I was like, oh my God, what if I mess up on her dances? What if I don't look good? What if I make her look bad? The day of the 15, no one's even gonna know. So if you mess up, how are they supposed to know you messed up? So if you mess up, just smile and keep going. Are you gonna see yourself? Go. No. That is beautiful. <laughs> figure it out. Hey, figure it Walk out. Walk around. One, two, okay, three, go. My favorite part for my quinceanera is choreographing the dances is because I'm the one choreographing them. It is a lot of stress coming up with the different dance moves and the right songs and the beat, and it's very hard. But I get to have all my friends come and we all hang out and we have a good time and we just enjoy spending time with each other. Pay attention to someone you're drawing this way, some of you guys are drawing that way, so look together. Always start to your right. So you're in for all the spins, go. Right now, we're about to do the stand my dance practices, and I'm really excited because we're just gonna have fun. 
I wanted to start learning, you know, the different man dance moves we have to learn. And I'm really excited for everybody just to be here. We're gonna be doing everything from my hey, vault. Alondra, Alex just finished telling me he ain't coming. What do you mean he's not coming? I don't know. He said he wasn't coming. Why didn't he tell me anything? I don't know. Why didn't he tell me anything? I have no idea. So right now I just found out that my main chamelon, Alex, isn't on a ton of practice. The person you're trying to call is not available right now. If you'd like to leave a voice message, please speak after the tone and hang up when you're done. Alex, why didn't you tell me anything about today? I've never told you guys to come to practice and the day I do, you don't even show up. Just get back to me, okay? Bye. I didn't expect him to leave me like that without me knowing anything and it just makes me wonder if he's actually gonna show up that day so as of right now I don't know what's gonna happen with Alex I need to have a talk to him and let's just see what happens We're so close, and he's honestly one of the best guy friends that I have. It just really hurts me that someone that's had my back through so much leaves me like nothing and doesn't tell me anything at all. Hey, let's go, come on, line up, go. Vaults, go. Right now we're doing the waltz, and it's going perfectly fine. I think everybody knows the rhythm, Is they're doing the right steps. You looked at your partner <laughs> when you kneel. <laughs> It's definitely hard trying to rain door everybody together during practices because they just want to goof off. My mindset has to be, I'm not your friend right now. I'm your choreographer and they have to listen to me. So for me to be able to rain roll them all together, it is very hard. <laughs> all right, come on guys, remember, this is a surprise dance. No one knows about this. We have to make this one perfect. In a traditional quinceanera, there's only one surprise dance and everybody knows there's gonna be a surprise dance right after the waltz. So I took it on me to do two surprise dances. So my family's really surprised. To be stopped. That was perfect! Yeah. <laughs> Finally! My favorite part from my entire dance is, is the surprise, surprise dance. Because ever since I was little, I've always enjoyed, you know, the big skirts and the charro outfit. So having that incorporated into my dances is really special to me since I've always wanted to show my family that side of me. I want to hear your shoes! Spin! Everybody spin! Job. Hey, you know what? That was tight. We all got it. We all got it. <laughs> Finally. First time ever. You guys have never done this that loud ever. <laughs> Finally. We're going to do the rock and roll one. So let's oh. go. <laughs> what? Partners, let's go. First pose. Second pose. Let's go, Dan. Johnny's not doing it. Oh my God. Johnny. Johnny. Right now, we're practicing the first surprise dance, and it's not going as well because some people don't know the steps because they haven't been here. Some people don't know the right town, so everybody's messing up. <laughs> Alright, so after this one, <laughs> it's what? Oh my God! Hey! <laughs> after you do yes, the kick, Sergio. Okay. Then go back one smack more time. You again, boy. <laughs> right now, as my practice is happening, I'm feeling very angry because my core doesn't want to pay attention to me, and I have to scream at them. And I don't like screaming at them because they're my friends, but I have to. Hey! You guys just stop Over talking. Over here. Now. Well, I'm gonna show you guys. Hi. So it goes one pose, two pose. Go, ready? One, two. I mean, yeah, we did goof around. I mean, I think at the beginning we were all serious, but later on she kept getting mad at us. And you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, no. Yeah. Spin. Okay, never mind guys, I'm ahead of myself. She does the steps without the music, so when she starts with the steps and uses the music, she doesn't like get to it. You understand me? So like, she'll be like, okay, no. eight count steps, and when she hears the music, she's like, oh, never mind you guys, no, it's only six counts, don't worry. You know she does a lot, you know she does. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm late. Six. I'm late. Seven. It's wow. eight. 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 It's eight. It's eight. It's it's three. It's three. It was, it was. Hear the music. We did eight. Hear the music. Hear the music. Hear the music. Oh my God. Four. Oh. 
Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Five to be safe. Yeah. Oh my god. So as of right now, I'm not certain we will have it down, but I'm praying and I'm hoping that we will. So today we're here in the fashion district in LA with my sister and we're just picking up the last minute details from my quinceañera, like my doll, my desk book, you know, the different flower arrangements that we have ordered. Since we're in the fashion district today, it is very nerve wracking because there's so many stores that sell the same thing. So you don't know where to get the best price, the best quality. So you have to look all different places, run to different stores and find the one that fits you the most. I'm happy it's finally here, but I'm also very nervous because I want everything to come out perfect. We are doing the most of the DIYs and we still have so much to do with so little time left. Hola. Hola, hi. Venimos a recoger la orden para Londra. Oh, hola. Permíteme tu vestido. Ok. Es, el, es la muñeca y el guestbook, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí. Hola, te los traigo, ¿eh? Gracias. 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 Y las flores también piden unas flores, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay. Gracias. We actually chose Mila Accessories because this is where my sister bought all her things for her quinceañera. We trusted them from the first time, so we just came back another time. Today I brought my sister along and I brought her because I did along with her the most. She's always been there for me no matter what, so I felt like I should share a special moment with her. My name is Cindy and I'm Alondra's big sister. I'm, I'm helping Alondra do all the decorations for her quinceañera. My uncles and aunts are paying for it that are in Utah, but because they're not here, I took the responsibility to do her decorations for her quinceañera and I'm helping her by taking her places she needs to go. One of the traditions for quinceañera is to have padrinos. They give you money for a specific part of your quince. So I have padrinos for you know party buses, for music, for video and photos, and they really contribute a lot to your 15th. My sister is one of my many madrinas. She helps me a lot with dance rehearsals and the DIYs and taking some of the stress off of me. So planning the quinceanera with Alondra has been fun, and it's also kind of like a tradition. I helped my sister Karen before her, but also very stressful because you know I do have to bring her places and make sure that the colors are right, and you know just kind of trying to get everything like last minute. Mira, este es el guest book. Oh wow! Okay. So you wanted it with the little sparkles. Yeah. Right now I'm looking at my desk book for the first time, and I'm absolutely in love with it. It has the bling that I asked her for it, it's the color I wanted, and it's just overall really beautiful. Your name and all the chamelanes. It's nice. Yeah. It's nice. I like okay. it. Mm -hmm. Y otra, sí. te, te traigo la muñeca? Si, sí. gracias. Okay, mira, esta es la muñeca. Aquí está, mira. Oh. Este es la it matches. Yeah. Too. Sí. So what do you think about your doll? I really like it. I just saw my doll for the first time and I absolutely love it. It's exactly what I wanted. Yeah, I really liked it a lot. I like the color and her hair matches me because it's curly. It's true. And I like how the, like the dress and like, the like, beading matches yeah. in her guest book. So that's, I'm really excited. Because they did a very good job. I'm very excited now. Can't wait for my quinceañera. Do you remember my quinceañera? Your, I gave you my doll. Because that was your mini me. La ceremonia de la última muñeca is basically my introduction into adulthood. The ceremony is based off of Mayan culture. The doll is a very significant part of a quinceañera. It represents the last toy you will ever get, sending you off into adulthood. And it's very special to me because I was my sister's mini me. She gave me her doll. And now it's my turn to hand my doll down to my niece. So Alondra's always been like my mini me. I mean, she looks like me and, you know, when I was my quinceañera, she was my mini-me. So I gave my doll to her. I bought my doll at Mila's Accessories. So did my sister Karen and I will bring her to buy it here too. So how are you going to go through with these doll ceremony? Are you going to like throw the flower like they normally do or are you going to just pick someone to give it to? Yeah, I'm just going to hand it down to Ashley since she's okay. my mini-me. Yeah. Okay. Are you going to do like a doll dance with her or? No, I'm going to have her present it to me. And then after the quinceañera is done, I'm just gonna give it to her okay. as a little present. Does it match your dress? I don't know. You have to wait to find out. O puedes hacer la orden y te podemos hacer uno si tienen tiempo. Ya no podemos esperar otra semana. Oh, okay, perfecto. Estamos en crunch, crunch time. Oh, okay. So I'm glad they had the other some more balls because we are gonna need more yeah. tables. Yeah, we're expecting more people than we originally thought. So I'm glad that she had some, some yeah. more. It takes a lot of time. So. How many people were you expecting? You invited for the 500. Yeah, but they've already they already RSVP, so they're all coming. 
Well, that's a lot of people. <laughs> um, I really had a great experience with Meal Arts Accessory. It's the second time we've come back, and the people here are so nice. The lady is so genuine, and I see love this store. So we just left Miller Accessories and all we have left is to find some fabric and some sombreros for one of my surprise dances. The fabric we needed because we're gonna decorate the tent with it. We didn't come down here with the store in mind, we just came to look around to see if we would find a store. And I'm very frustrated because, you know, we're looking for the sombreros and we can't find a single store that has them in these 90 blocks of the passenger street. The sombreros are really important because it's gonna tie together the whole theme of my quinceanera. Me and my sister are going through the alleys and it's super hot and it's so crowded and there's many stores. So it's really difficult to try to move around and find the right store. I'm frustrated because if we don't find what we need today, I don't know if we're gonna have it for the 15. And we're so close to my 15 that I don't think we're gonna have time. So we're gonna be doing your centerpieces, okay? okay. So what you're gonna do first, we're gonna glue on the sparkles mm -hmm. on the center. So today is the final day before my quinceanera and me and my sister Cindy are just finishing up some of the last minute DIYs and today's also my last dance rehearsal. Me and my sister will be working on the vases for the centerpieces and just little arrangements for the venue. I'm feeling nervous, but I'm excited that it's the final day and tomorrow's my big day. Here we go. Okay, so then once it's, you see that it's done, that the glue yeah. is done, mm -hmm. what we'll do is we're gonna pour beads into, into the vase. Cindy is showing me how to do the centerpieces and I really like it because me and her are the closest out of all my sisters and you know, me and her have always been together. And I really enjoy it a lot because it's just time for me and her to bond more. And then you'll grab one of the lights mm -hmm. and you, on the button, you push it, keep pushing it until you get the blue light. And then you'll put the pom-pom flower on top. Hey girls, I have the brindis, the one. Okay, good. Okay. One more thing. Yeah. I just put them right here. I'm Anna, I'm Alondra's oldest sister. How are we gonna decorate these today? Well, I was thinking just um, put like the, the silver ribbon around it, and then maybe one of the pom-pom flowers. And what are we doing with these? Those are gonna go on your copas, uh -huh. the main one, so yours and, the, and your chambelans. My sister Anna helped us out with making the copas for you know my brindis, and she just helped making sure my centerpieces are looking nice and getting the last minute details all together. For Alondra's quinceanera, it's something that we always do. Everybody gets involved. We normally like to do all the decorations ourselves. So we're gonna cover the bottle with mm -hmm. this one, and this is gonna be on your table okay. with the, um, the copas around it. Okay. And on this one, we can also just wrap the ribbon. I'm with my sisters and we're tying the ribbon around the place where the cups are gonna go. They need my centerpieces nice and ready. And I'm so excited because we're gonna have everything done on time and everything looks perfect. So Alo, aren't you happy that you have all this help from us? I mean, when I had me, my quinceanera, I, it was all me. You yeah, know, it was, that is true. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy. Cause this is a lot of work. It is. I'm happy <laughs> it's time I consuming and well, I'm happy I have four sisters to help me out, so. We have so much help that I didn't expect everybody to come and help me out. It makes me feel very loved because we've always been united. For you to know that everybody's there for you and to help you out, it's just a wonderful feeling. Alondra, she wasn't really sure she wanted quinceanera, which I think it's good that she decided to have one because she's the last quinceanera. And also because my daughter looks up to her. I'm really happy for her. She's a, a huge inspiration for my daughter. My daughter's her mini me, and she looks up to her. How do you feel about being my mini me? It feels great. Why? Because I get to do the same thing as you. I mean, in every way, my daughter wants to be like her, you know? Because I noticed that Alondra's really confident with herself. So seeing Alondra being that confident with who she is, it makes me really proud. Makes me really proud. Not only does my daughter look up to her, but I, am, I have two boys as well, and you know, they're always around Alondra, so seeing that she doesn't care what people think or do or say about her, that's something I want my kids to know, you know, like you don't have to please everybody to be help, happy to, to so. 
Do you think I should put like um, a little bit of the silver beading around Maybe, it? Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Maybe, yeah. There's some down here. Since today's the last day before my quinceanera, we're actually gonna practice at the ranch where my party will be to make sure you know everything's set up right since it is really different from my backyard. <laughs> Hola. So we just got here to my ranch the day before my quince and my court thought they were just gonna be here to dance but little did they know we needed their help to move all the tables and chairs and set up. No. Move those chairs, go. I think there's another one. I feel very good watching my tour help me set up for my 15 because you know they're contributing even more into my 15 by helping me set up. Six chairs per table I got. Six chairs per table. Oh yeah. Here. You take this much? Okay. Mm, show the muscles Ashley, show the muscles. I'm gonna go grab some more chairs. Alex is my main chamelan and he didn't tell me to practice last time, but thankfully he did this time and you know I just wanted to pull him to the side to see what happened and why he didn't come last time. So why didn't you come last practice? I mean I told you that I had to go with family. No, you didn't. I really did. You know, it's family, like all my family from my dad's side all out there in Colorado and I never get to see them. So, you know, I you just have to understand that I had to go see them, you know. I, I wouldn't understand if you had told me, but you didn't. So that's like, I wasn't really upset that you didn't go. I was more upset the fact that you didn't let me know. You get me? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry for like doing all that, but you know, I I'm mean, here now, so. Having the conversation with Alex really did help me, you know, did some sort of peace. You know, it was just a one-time thing and it's not gonna happen again. I, mean, I didn't like really mean to miss practice. Like, I know it was a big day for her. I mean, like, I'm really sorry for missing it, you know? And like, that's why I'm here right now, really trying to make up for it, you know? because, I mean, she's a really good friend. She doesn't deserve it, so yeah. Me and Laundry, like, we're good friends. She's been there for me, I've been there for her. Cindy, we're ready? Yeah! Let's go. Let's go, Ashley, come on. I'm very excited that Alex is back. You know, he knows all them dance moves, and he's not messing up, and neither am I, so right now we're just ready to dance and get the night started. Are you nervous for tomorrow? Fine. Um, Alex being my main chamelan, I chose him because, you know, he is one of my closest guy friends. I'm always there for him and he's always there for me. Whenever I need him, you know, he's right there, you know, cheering me on and just giving me that support that I need. And same for him, you know, whenever he has a problem with girls or something else, you know, I'm always the one. He's like, hey, Alondra, can you help me with this? And of course, I help him. It's really hot out, but, you know, they're doing a great job. They're keeping up. They're not complaining. So overall, it's, a, it's really good. Okay, again. Let's do it again. And then much better than before than yesterday, actually. Well, at first the dances were chaotic, and now I seen everybody hitting the points, getting the right, getting the eight counts right. You know, we're all we all want to be there for Alondra. We want to be perfect with the dances. We don't want to be the ones to mess up for her. We need to like practice hard, I guess, and like do everything right because. We got another good on Saturday. Looking back now, as I'm standing at my last practice, I am so happy that I took on the test to choreograph because it brought us all much more close than what we already are. And that's what I made. I created the dances from my own mind. So I'm really happy with how it came out and I can't wait for the end result. Good job. I am so excited for tomorrow. I still can't believe that it's tomorrow. I'm still. Not ready for it, but I'm happy and I'm ready just to go, 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 and have my day go perfectly. So, I want to take time to thank everybody for being a part of my tour. You know, thanks for letting me, you know, being, doing me the favor. You know, thank you. Bring it in! Alondra, my name. One, two, three. Alondra! Yes! <laughs> This kind of look. Okay. So, do you want uh, tighter curls, or are those okay with you? Because I think if you go with a little bit of a tighter curl, mm -hmm. it'll last longer. Since you're gonna go from like six in the morning all the way to one. Yeah. It is six a.m. right now, and I'm currently getting my hair done. We have to be done by seven, so to do my makeup and be out of my house by eight thirty on our way to church by nine. Do you know it's supposed to be 110 today? That's what I heard. 
it's gonna be super hot. So I'll make sure that I can uh, bring stuff to touch up your hair. Mm -hmm. You chose the hottest day of the year. What happened with your limo? Did you guys hear anything about it? I... Well, Cindy, she um, reserved it last night and everything. And then the email they sent her, they said that they would call her shortly, but they never did. So we don't know what's gonna happen with, you know. The limo? So yeah. I'm not sure if they're gonna show up or not. Yeah. Girls. Come on. Day's here. I know. What's going on? Did you end up hearing back from the party bus people? No, I'm gonna call them right now. But I'm sure it'll be fine. I got an email confirmation, so just they never called me to just confirm. So yeah. I'll call them as soon as they open. Did you try on her dress? No. Um, my mom brought it in before we left and she said that not to try it on, that it fit perfectly fine. We should still try it on just to see. I know, I wanted to try it on last night, but she's like, no, it's fine. We don't have time to go to sleep. We have two hours left and I need to finish getting ready. And then I also need to try on my dress to make sure it fits and they're all ready to leave. My mom is the only one that's seen my dress. I have not let any of my sisters see it. So that's kind of, kind of why I want my mom to help me on my dress since she's already seen it. But I want her and me to share that moment just like we did when we, on up, when we opened my box. Hey, boo. Hey, I still can't believe that today is my quinceanera. I know. More people have arrived. My cousin Daisy is here to do my makeup. She's setting up right now. And then one of my damas has showed up, Wendy, and her sister, Handi, is doing her hair. It's gonna be 110, Handi. Oh no. So I'm gonna not gonna do anything right here till uh -huh. she's done. Okay. Do you wanna see it right now or do you wanna wait till oh. you're? Oh, I'll wait. I'll, wait. So I'll let you yes. take over then. Are you ready for this? Uh huh. So I didn't know what to get you, and I already mm -hmm. know you like this glow. Mm -hmm. So you know, maybe Daisy could do something with this. Are you ready? Uh -huh. Open your eyes. <gasps> <gasps> no! <laughs> Look, yes! Oh, really yes! Oh my god, okay, okay. Oh, don't start. <laughs> She's already crying from one eye. Oh no. It's happening. Oh, no, no, no. Put it away. Stop. Put it away. Why do you always insist on crying just <laughs> from one eye? <laughs> oh no. Right now, I'm getting my makeup done by my cousin Daisy. Daisy's doing my makeup because I really like how she does her makeup, you know. It's always popping. Makeup is a pretty big deal for me. It is something that's definitely helped my confidence. When I put it on, I do it for me and not for anybody else. It helps boost my confidence. Right now, it is very chaotic. People are going in and out, not knowing what outfits to wear, not knowing where to go. So we're just trying to coordinate everybody today, make sure we're out of the house by 8.30 and everybody's at the church ready to go. Oh my God. Uh-uh. You saw what I put on the group chat, right? Oh my God, tell me why Pachu was, just asked me, what are their outfits? Didn't you just tell them at practice too? Yeah, and I told, yeah, I told them at practice. I told them last night, I was like, in all caps, I was like, make a bed right now and put an alarm to remind me to take it. Andrea. What? Do you know how to make these toys? Hold on, hold on. Give me like two mo two seconds. Fix my alarm. You know, you have to fall out of your shirt first. It's either gonna fall off because you know he gets down. Okay, so I'm gonna oh. choose for this young highlight. Okay, okay, you guys, Handy, it's about to go down. We're about to put on my highlight, and it's the most important part to me. You know, I don't care if my eyebrows don't look good. <laughs> if my highlight look good, I look good. <laughs> so this is her line for him. Which one are you using? Oh, and this is thanks to my cousin. This is my dick she just gave me. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This is... I'm not, I'm crying. Okay. When the eyelashes are coming off. Don't. <laughs> these Don't eyelashes cry. are going to come off. Don't cry. What is this? I mean, oh, oh my god. Give me a little tilt right here. Damn. Yes. You got the right queen right now. <laughs> oh, yes, Daisy. Yes. <laughs> Oh, 
Do a little turn. Oh, you look cute. Are you excited? Yes. We have hair and makeup done and I'm about to see myself for the first time and I'm about to go put on my dress. I'm feeling very nervous and anxious and I want to see how it all came out and I'm ready to go. We're waiting for Alondra to come down. We're actually gonna see her in full gown, makeup, hair, everything put together. And we're actually gonna get to see her dress for the first time. She didn't want anybody to see her dress before. Only my mom is helping her out. I'm excited to see her. I'm really happy for her. I have my dress on for the first time and I'm so excited. I was getting emotional because it's so exciting to see everybody you know here like supporting me. Oh, I love your dress. It is so pretty. <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> Oh my god. This is so awesome. Pretty. I'm proud. I'm proud. I know. <laughs> this is still the dress of my dreams. I love every single part of it. And now that I'm all finished and ready, I look even better. I, so we're running late, so we have to go. Listos? Vamos. Just arrived at my venue and it is super hot. It is like 113 degrees outside. So I'm kind of worried, you know, that I'm, my party of 500 isn't gonna come. Where's the my people? They didn't bring my mama mantele. They didn't bring her the things to cover it to make my main table. So we're just gonna have to pull the table. When we got here, the party wasn't set because the guy who bought the tables didn't end up leaving the stuff in it for my main table. So I didn't touch and change tables around and make my main table. Light me up, light me up. I'm feeling really nervous. We're about to start and I don't know, I'm just really nervous. I don't want to trip over my dress or for the a dance move, so I'm just really nervous trying to stay calm and just stay calm. We, we knew it was going to be hot, but we didn't know it was going to be this hot. So we've pushed back, you know, my dance an hour, so we're going to have to see how it's going to work out. a lot of work and now seeing it finally it's all together and ready I am so happy with how it turned out and I'm so happy with my sisters put so much effort there thanks to my sisters and to my cousins who came early in the morning when it was really hot and helped set up as I'm seeing pictures of my sister you know I'm seeing my entire family and it kind of makes me sad because I know I'm the last one. Being able to spend, you know, a day together, like just enjoying each other's company and really being there for our little sister Alondra is, you know, priceless. father daughter dance right now is so emotional for me. I'm hearing the lyrics and I'm just tying them into my life and it's making me super emotional.
I knew myself I was gonna cry. I just didn't think I was gonna cry as much as I did. This is the last time one of my sisters will dance with my dad. You know, and I'm pretty sure it was more emotional for my dad too because that's his last little girl. I love you, dad. I love you too. Overall, I'm happy with my core, how they did it. It's really hot out, but you know, they're doing a great job. So I'm really happy with how it came out. You know, I'm watching this and I'm like so proud of these kids because, you know, they were always goofing off. I was so proud of them that they actually did a really good job and they, you know, pulled it off and it was awesome. After our first waltz, since we were so behind schedule, we had a run and they changed into a surprise dance outfit. Oh, whatever, you have, whatever you have on hey, is what we're wearing. I'm wearing these ones anyways. Everybody was running, it was so chaotic, you know, people lost their shoes, their shirts, everything was just scattered all over the place. Let's go, come on! Oh, I'm not ready to Everybody kept coming to me to ask me questions when I myself still had it not ready for my dance, so I was not able to assist them at that moment. But once, you know, I got accommodated, you know, I helped everybody out. Everybody's ready? Yeah. No, not Sammy. Do it. Okay, what's Sammy? She took my shoes. What no. shoes do you have on? The white ones, and I don't have white socks. I brought black ones for those. It's fine, whatever. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm doing the surprise dances right now and I am not looking at anybody's face. I'm looking straight because I don't want to see anybody in the midst of my town. You know, surprise, surprise dance. I think a lot of people weren't expecting that. It kind of got everybody even more hype. Like, this is something that is, you know, very traditional and like in our culture. So it was very, it was very good to see everybody like excited to see what they had planned. For my last surprise dance, that was the most incredible thing I have ever seen. You know, during practice, they don't really give it their all except for my nephews. But today, you know, everybody put on their boots. I don't know what they ate, but it was so amazing. I am. So so happy with how it came out. And I love how at the end, you know, all my family just joined in and, you know, had a blast with us. My tour did amazing with my own choreography. I'm so happy and pleased with every single one of them. I used to tell they put in hard work and they're just the most amazing family members I could ever thought of and the most amazing friends I could ever have gotten. Overall, Andros Quince has been, you know, we had a little bit of obstacles, but here being here and now, you know, and just enjoying it and being with all our friends and family and having everybody show up and show love to her, it's an awesome feeling. Like, and we're having the time of our lives and I can see it in her face that she's just over her the moon. <laughs> This was my dream quinceanera. This is what I envisioned since I decided to have my quinceanera. And I'm just so overall so happy with it. I couldn't have thought of a better 15. For more quince content, make sure to check out Austin's TV's new quinceanera channel. Bye.